How's it going, my fellow Homo sapiens? It's your boy Uzumaki Kado, and this is my anime collection, anime collection episode nine. That's right. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. We're finally getting low in my anime collection. We're finally wrapping up from the, the final few animes that I have left. And one of the best animes that I definitely have is Full Metal Panic. Man, oh man, I love this anime. This anime here is really, really awesome. We don't just have Full Metal Panic the first whole season. We have the second season with the uh, special edition cases. cases. And we have Full Metal Panic for Mafu. Oh man, oh man. So Full Metal Panic is about um, a person whose name is Sosuke. And he goes, kind of like Sasuke. He, his name is Sosuke Sagara. And his uh, job is to protect someone named Konami Chittery. And she has this, I believe she has something like black technology, a, a, ter a certain type of ability that people can use to create more advanced technology. So you have like mobile suits and things in here, but it's not like a mecha anime. But this anime here is so awesome because I think that the first season, Sosuke, he, he takes everything so serious. So he goes to her high school, he, he's supposed to protect her. He takes everything so serious. Like it might be a kid might make a joke and he's like, oh shit, he's getting, he's going to kill her. You know, he's always protecting her. And uh, Chittery's really kind of keeping him in line, making sure that he doesn't blow up the school because he's always blowing something up. He's always pulling a gun out on somebody. And that's one thing I really liked about this because it's a serious anime, but Sosuke really just makes the anime so entertaining, so awesome. Now for the season two, Full Metal Panic, um, what I like about this one was they took a different approach. And what, what they did here was they took Sosuke and he was no longer protecting Chittery. They took Chittery away and basically he had to go back to his uh, main station and had to do other missions. He wasn't protecting her anymore. And by that time, I think that he had feelings for Chittery. He really wanted to protect her. And Sosuke wasn't a character who was very, very emotional. He was someone that kept his emotions away. But once he was away from Chittery, everything changed. He became someone that he didn't know who he was. He was just kind of wandering. You had the main bad guy that popped up in the series again. And what I really liked about this was this really, really kind of built his character, flushed his character out. Because you see him does do something that we've never seen in the series before. And that was this move away from his mission. He just left the military. He left the group. He just, just ran off because he was just, he was just done. He was just confused. But at the end, he ends up going back and doing what he's supposed to do. However, this series never was actually completed. I mean, it was left open-ended. We're still waiting. I mean, it's been several years. I'm still waiting to see if we're going to get a, a season three. What's going to happen? Because there's so many great characters in here. And I mean, I love Full Metal Panic. Now, for the best one, is Full Metal Panic for Mafu. Now, this anime here is really insane. It's a comedy, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I prefer Full Metal for Mafu versus the, the real serious shoot 'em up and, and killing people and saving people. Because in this story, in this series, it's all comedy. So when you have someone like Sosuke, when he does something, the whole scenery is funny. Instead of like everything being serious and people's actually dying, this right here is just classic. I mean, even today, I could put one of these DVDs in and just start crying because it's that funny. I mean, it's hilarious. You have great characters. I mean, things just goes off all the time. I mean, it's one point where he has to protect some bakeries, making sure no one is going to uh, mess with the bakery. So he set bombs around and he put nerve gas around them. I mean, he does all type of things to make sure people don't steal the bagels in the bakery. It is just classic. I love it. And, and Chittery is just beating the crap out of him throughout the whole series. Man, oh man, it is definitely a roller coaster. It is just hilarious. It is great. Then we have Casher. And um, I felt like it was a okay anime. This is the first half of season one. This is part one, episode uh, one to 12. And uh, here's the back of them. Now, this is from Funimation. 
I felt like it was an okay anime, but it wasn't good enough for me to go out there and purchase the other seat, um, the other half of the season. And I just kind of just fell off on it. It was an okay anime, but it wasn't good enough for me really to invest into a second, the second half of the season, unfortunately. But it was, it was still interesting. Um, maybe one day if I see it on the, 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 the way to save, I will pick up the whole series. Then we have a real throwback. This is one of those early 90 animes, and this is uh, Blue Seed, a very, very classic, very, very old anime. And this is the whole series itself. And I got this years ago at the anime store. So this is really actually interesting. It was a pretty decent anime for its time. And then we have Fate Stand Night. I like Fate Stand Night. It was a good anime. I mean, my favorite character is going to be Giga Mesh. But I really felt like Saber was awesome in this anime. This was a really, really good one. Now, you can tell the box set is kind of old. This is one of the original box sets. Now, here's the uh, some pictures of them. And we just kind of look at the back of the DVD. So, it's some really, really good art here. I really enjoyed this one. Now, I know there's another Fate Stay Night uh, Unlimited Blade Works. And there's Fate... Uh, Fate Zero, both of those are really, really good anime, so if you haven't got on the Fate series, definitely watch it. It's really, really good. And then we have Con Gunsmith Cats, a good anime. This is a, a, another older anime here, so I really enjoyed it. Now, one of my VIP animes is going to be Black Cat. Man, oh man, this is a great anime. I really enjoy Black Cat. Let's kind of open this up. Uh... Show you a little bit of art here. So you see the nice little pictures or whatnot. It's a fold out. And I'll show you the back here. Black Cat is really, really awesome. You have this guy. He has a gun. I mean, he, he's really unique. I mean, he's a cool character. He kicks ass. Really, really cool characters in this series. I really enjoy Black Cat. Now, for the longest time, I actually didn't get on Black Cat because he had the little bell around his neck. And I was like, oh, that's kind of suspect. And um, my buddy invited me over to his crib one day. He showed me one episode. And this guy walks in. He's talking to these guys. And these guys seem like they want some trouble. And he takes this this thing and he shoots it in their, in their mouth. And it, it's, it's only like a hot ball or something like that. It's like a jawbreaker, but it's hot. And he tells the guys, these gangster guys, that they're microorganisms that's going to blow up their head or something. And everyone's all tripping out and going on, so the guys run off. In reality, they were just little hot balls he shot in the mouth. It was just hilarious, dude. It was just incredible. But Black Cat is really awesome. I mean, there's great characters in there. You fall in love with the character, the main character itself. And it's a really good anime. If you haven't checked out Black Cat, definitely go out there and check it out. Now, here's a much newer um, anime. This is Summer War. And this was, I really like this movie. This was a really, really good movie. Um, pretty good characters. I like the whole type of digital realm they had there with kind of like the futuristic, like you can go, you can play games, you can meet people. Kind of like this online virtual world. Really, really awesome. I really like this. This was pretty cool. It makes you think a little bit also. Then we have Phantom. Phantom is a, a pretty decent anime. Um, this is the whole series here. So you have these assassins, and they they're they're trained as a young they're trained at very very young age, and um you know you have one assassin that has feelings and he wants to do something else instead of kill people, and he falls in love with the girl. He has to protect her, but however she's an assassin also. It's it's a pretty interesting anime, and this is also from Funimation itself. Then we have the whole series of Shokino no Shana. I like this anime. Now, I have the other half of the series here. I haven't actually watched them yet. Let's see here. Here's the other half of it. I haven't opened it up yet. I had this. So let's go and kind of talk about the first series first. I really enjoyed the first series. You got this girl who's protecting this guy. And I believe he has something like a treasure inside of him. A very, very unique treasure. Like uh, when it burns out, it recovers itself and, and it starts to flame. So it's like an infinite flame or something of that nature. So she's trying to protect him. But one thing I really do like about this is the characters in here. The beautiful character design. Um, a lot of the character development. I mean, she comes in. She's like this really, really angry girl. But... She has things that she likes and, you know, they kind of get along and things of that nature. But one thing I definitely like about this is the art style of this anime. This is great art style. I mean, it's just visually beautiful. Now, for 
this season here, I haven't opened it up yet. I had it for almost about two years. Uh, <laughs> so I have had it for a while. I just really haven't had the time to really break down and watch it because there's just so much anime. I have an inventory anime. I haven't even opened up yet. And there, you know, by the time I do get to this, more anime is going to come out and I got to watch that first. So it keeps getting pushed back and back. Then we have Kyo. Kyo, Samurai D Kyo. Really, really good anime. I really enjoyed it. I liked it. It was an awesome anime. More of a samurai type anime with abilities and things of that nature. So definitely a thumbs up. And our final one for today is Panty and Stocking. This one here really kind of caught me off guard because it's actually a really good anime. It's more kind of like um, cartoons in America type of art style. And I really do like it. I mean, I really like the, the, the characters. Um, I really like the things they do in it. Now, it's, they have a pretty cool, diverse cast. You got the black guy who's the preacher or the, the, the priest or whatever. It's really, really in, entertaining. And it's a good anime overall. I mean, the priest does the, the, the thing that I guess you see other priests do. And it's like, yeah, I'm going after this boy. I'm like, oh, really? That type of stereotype of priest, you know? Like, no. You're, 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 you're in a church with some badass angels. And the only thing you can think of is this little, young little boy. No. But overall, besides that, I felt like this was a great series. Now, I heard there's an OVA or something out that gives a little bit more to this series. And I'm going to have to do some research in it because I'm definitely going to pick that up. But that's all I have for you today. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Matane.